the, the Kyle Host fight was a good stepping stone for Mayhem. I had to check out the safety of my knees, check out, you know, my shape, and I was real happy with the results. And that was good to get some ring rust out. It had been 10 months since he had fought at that point. It was a good test for him to get back in the ring, see how his knees held up, see how his body held up, and he did great. Strong, healthy. I felt like, you know, for the first time in a year or two, I felt like myself. So what am I doing here? I had to drive two hours at seven o'clock at night because I have nothing better to do to drop off Jason's Osiris shoes for him to wear as he walks out. I gotta start packing for this damn thing. And you just made it a lot harder because now I have to choose what shoes I wanna take. And also his fight shorts that had to be made today because Jason is so indecisive. All right, well, cool. Thank you guys for bringing all my Christmas presents. I will now wear these to beat someone up in. But you know what? That's what we here do at Triumph United, AKA Mayhem Miller Town whatever it takes to make Jason happy. Because we get so many hours of endless entertainment out of it. It's nonstop joy. It's a happy time. Right? Oh, I don't feel like packing. Ah. Especially not this crap. This is like the stupid, I'm gonna have to wear this and torture myself with this crap. What are you wearing? 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> These, these, I think these are my skinny pants. Stretch tape, regular tape, mouthpiece. It smells pretty bad. Maybe I, I can find something to protect my junk. Man, why are my socks? None of them match. I lose every left sock in the entire planet. How do you know it's the left? Because I put on my right sock first. It has to be the left. Rubber chicken. Damn it, chicken, get back in there. This is the worst episode of Cribs ever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, good. I'm actually gonna wear nice clothes to the press conference for once. I think they're gonna be shocked at how professional I'm acting. Oh, yeah, I got your shirt, Logan. Oh, shit. Pretty good. <laughs> I think I. How did you know? I, know? I don't know. It's awesome, right? <laughs> yeah, if you're walking down the street wearing a huge vagina shirt, you're a douchebag. <laughs> Oh man, that's perfect. I know, right? Gloves. Oh man, I want these to stink up the bag. Don't smell that bad. And that about does it. The whole bully beat down thing's awesome, you know? It's gotten my name out and gotten, uh, mixed martial arts out to a whole another audience. We are creating the strip of doom. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I view that as one part of what I do, you know, like that's one career that I have, that of entertainer. And then my other career here, fighting. Oh. <laughs> the damage is that'll done. come out. <laughs> I stripped him doomed my couch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh well. They definitely interweave, because I'm an entertainer no matter what I do, but man, it's so much more fulfilling to be able to punch someone in the face and not go to jail. Don't paint my face. For me, there's a definite entertainment aspect to my fighting career. My entrances are crazy and like to me the fight is a big show but you know I, I, you got to find a balance you know that you can't be goofing off the whole time during the fight and I, I think that's that's faulted me in, in my previous fights more serious mayhem nowadays you know I, it's it's gonna be all business and the 26 fucking grenades oh well, I gotta call in an airstrike
It's a rubber chicken. Why do you have this? Because rubber chickens are hilarious. Quack!